Show up City Grill GYD. What's up, everyone? Hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification to share button. Today, man, I got a brother here, man, Marvelous. Introduce yourself, because I'm, I'm going to say less while you introduce yourself. Hey, how you doing? My name's Marvelous. Um, I'm out of East Los Angeles from the Mono Real Gang. Um, and um, I'm very humble to be here on the show, Humble. And I'm humble to add. We're going to touch on a variety of topics today. But first, I'm going to get on like. You tap, right? You are right. ink master, right? Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> nah, I'm not an ink master, but I'm, I'm a tattoo artist. Yeah, I ink up. Uh, yeah. Do your thing, man. Yeah, 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 I'm doing my thing, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anybody uh, notable that we should know about that you can tag them? Oh, you know what? There's a couple of people, bro, but I don't, I don't want to throw my, okay. my, you know what I mean? Respect. But yeah, but for the most part, I do, Um, I work on like culture and, and different ethnicities cultures. I, I love doing that, you know, uh, tattoos that mean something, you know, I'm from the old school, so I learned under my uncle and um, a lot of stuff that I, that I learned is, you know, your tattoos got to mean something. And yeah. Especially they're going to be gang related, they got to be vouched for, so I don't yeah. be doing nobody's hood or nobody like that. And, you know, I just make sure the tattoos that I do are meaningful, bro. That's not true. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, I'm, my, my old back is in like an apple centricity. Mm -hmm. So I, I do what you're saying on that beautiful tag. So let me, let me, let me check it in. So, who are you? Second generation, third generation? I know you have never been out the Maravillas. That's you from Maravillas, Maravillas, right? No, just Maravilla. I grew up in Mariana, Maravilla. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, um, well, yeah, I'm third generation. My grandpa, he was from Maravilla, um, from the early 1900s. And then my dad, my dad, born in 1940. He was, um, you know, he came up with, in the whole, you know, prison system in the 60s and 70s and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm third generation. So I was raised with all my dad's homeboys and stuff like that. So, yeah, but we're, we're all neighbor or what you would consider a righteous barrio. Like, a, we weren't a, a gang per se. We were, a, it's actually a town called Maravilla. Yeah. When it was at this, the east side of the bridges of downtown, that connect, um, Los, downtown Los Angeles, it was called Maravilla. So it means marvelous or yeah, that's yeah. something beautiful. Right, right, okay, that's, 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 that's what I thought. I thought you'd be that. Right, right. You love your set, man. Oh, shit, they're with that. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, coming up, man, your father's in law? No, my, my father passed away. My, my grandpa passed away. Yeah, yeah, so, they've been gone for a minute. Okay, all right, so, so coming up in your neighborhood, man, uh, I mean, basically, uh, how was it for you? I mean, because I, I've seen you on a couple of YouTube channels, and then you go out to your neighborhood, so I know you're about your business and in the streets, mm -hmm. but... Basically coming up, I mean, did you, you go to school in your neighborhood? You, you just literally grew up in your neighborhood? Yeah, so I, I went, um, my grandpa tried to deter me from, you know, joining the gang and all that. He already knew what was going on, but he um, he put me in Catholic school. But everybody in the Catholic school was from my neighborhood anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, bro, I mean, yeah, I just grew up in my neighborhood. All my family members were from the neighborhood. And um, my grandpa schooled me a lot. My dad, when he would come home from prison, he would school me a lot about the neighborhood. And you just go, you, it's, it's not like, um, I mean, people join neighborhoods now and they just, they join neighborhoods just to be like a wannabe, man. They they, they, they think they get girls by joining a neighborhood or maybe they got friends and shit, but they don't got that true love or they don't know the, the real, um, where, the, where their neighborhood started from or where, you know, these, um, these animosities towards other neighborhoods started, bro. They're just fighting uh, a cause without no meaning, no, no worth. Yeah. You know, and not, not even that we should be fighting, bro, but at least if you're going to fight and you're going to die for some shit, at least know what the fuck you're dying for, you know? Yeah, because uh, I always trip on, uh, on the, new, the new jacks, that's what I call them, you know, because I'm older. Mm. But how uh, I met you in camp, mm. and you never grew up in my neighborhood, but I've been here and called you on, but, and you have no loyalty because you don't know nobody over here. Facts. You don't know nobody over here, so they wonder why you sitting up in jail with these football members, because he told on you because you participated in that lifestyle. Yeah. That lifestyle, you know, I, I often call it a death style, mm -hmm. but you know, it's a culture. A lot of people across the United States don't understand that it's a way of life in, in California, especially in Southern California. Mm -hmm. It's not as if we all start raving maniacs or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you got a hell of a talent. You tattoo. And that's the most popular thing in today's generation now is getting tattoos from NBA stars, the actresses, the actors all the way down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, but I do want to touch on this, you know. You know, lately I've been on YouTube and I've been going in and... And like I, like I said to dudes earlier today, I don't have nothing against a Serenio per se. I have something against pockets. Mm -hmm. There's like any killer in the world. You want to elaborate on that or how you feel about that? So the thing is, is I think, you know, from, from both, both perspectives, bro, um, you got you got people, like I said, that didn't get that school, you know, didn't get that structure. And, and the key word is structure here. You know, you got a whole generation that was, that was taken out of the out of the, we'll say the gene pool, and um, 
there's no more generational teaching, bro. There's no more, um, you know, meetings or nothing like that. And, and even if there is meetings today, there's no checking for things that you do that would be uh, associated with a form of disrespect. You know, uh, uh, essentially looking a man in his eyes when you when you're speaking to him, yeah. or shaking a man's hand when you when you're talking to him. And you got one person that's ignorant that another young kid is looking up to, and he goes and makes a decision to write NK on the wall, and then you got everybody else writing that when that's not that's not even um that wouldn't be how do you say it bro um a just cause of of uh if you were gonna go at it with them like it's not the uh, the whole the whole black car we'll just say the black car that you're supposed to be fighting with but it's just a certain group that were disrespecting you and now you're disrespecting him like we'll just, uh, for example i'm gonna I'm throw this out there and this might not have anything to do with it but we got right now we got um a certain individual um, we'll just say AC, and then we got another individual, um, um, we'll just say P, um, whatever, right, and, um, I don't know his last name or whatever, but they're going at it over egos and, um, uh, misconstruing each other's, um, um, an uh, analogies on, on what they're trying to get across. One says that he's pushing a movement for a certain cause, and one, another one says he's pushing a movement because of racial issues. But they're, these, these both men have disrespected each other, and they're both looking back at their cars and saying, "Hey, look at the Browns are disrespecting us," and the other one is saying, "Look at the Blacks are disrespecting us." When it's just the issue between these two gentlemen that need to handle their business as a motherfucking man. And, okay, I agree with you. I agree with you, and and, and, and I'm gonna say it because I'll be on the dude kill here, but I'll be on this here because of racial things he said. Mm -hmm. You know, people always try to tell me that I'm, I'm prejudiced. I'm not prejudiced. First off, for you that don't know, I got a I got a granddaughter that's a beautiful. <laughs> she looks more than just Latina, mm -hmm. you know. And and I have two children that I share with a Hispanic woman. And the reason I learned so much about your culture is so my sons won't come in and I have to say go to your mother. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything about your culture, but I know a lot, mm -hmm. and I do know this much that that by gear saying get with queens and saying that they'll, they'll lift every voice and sing they'll never go to another football game and things like that they don't realize man that we both are millionaire people but right. that's for one right. and for two i'm old school from when i used to go downtown l.a and there used to be a cat named big boy he was about six six from 18th street they'd be in front of the arcade chilling out thing pants forward i'm standing up like this and we're just fighting like all this the creeps and so forth like that and we never had an issue Right. It was a gang issue. So with Gil, like I said, to me, he sits up here and tries to play both sides of the fence. So right now he's trying to do what's called damage control, and I call it the Sambo, the Steven tool. Where he's trying to have all these brothers come on and show, like, hey, I'm not pressure, I'm not racist, I'm not this. But I often say the slave master sold his own baby that he had by a black woman. And and not not to to come in and um, defend anybody, but but you got the other individual saying the same thing. Yeah, the Mexicans I, ain't got no hands no, and all this and that, right? But I don't, look, two wrongs don't make a right. Right, 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 right. I'm going to call, you know, for lack of better words, this is what we say in the black community, mm -hmm. so don't be offended, y'all, but a spade is a spade. Mm -hmm. Okay, what that means by, it, really that comes from a card terminology. If you play playing spades, a spade is a spade. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, uh, with that being said, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. And I'm calling up any brother man to say anything racist towards, towards the Latina, Latino, or Hispanic community, period, because... Like I said, I have an unorthodox way. Mm. Uh, I'm hollering at you, you know, individuals, and I'm getting going hard to a press, but I'm hollering at a collective because I'm trying to not force a collective because I can't force a man to do nothing, right. but I'm trying to bring awareness to the collective. Like, man, as a collective, can y'all? I'm asking you. I can't right. tell you. Right. Can y'all? Tell these dudes in these pockets, man, to stop that madness. If you got a beef with a particular black gang, Put his head up to strike him up and smack him out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it comes with the, with, the, with the whole term of, of the old school shit with checking, checking somebody. If somebody's being disrespectful in a certain way and they know that's gonna uh, attend, uh, uh, gonna cause a riot per se, because they will cause a riot. Right. The shit that 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 the old boy said and the shit that old boy said that's gonna strip both parts. And, and you got you got you know we'll just say I, and I hate to say uh, you know uh, uh, in a form of division blacks and browns, but where do we get that terminology from? You gotta you gotta really fucking school yourself and, and learn where did we get the term black and where did we get the term fucking Hispanic or Latino? We both got it from one individual who is not a either of our races. Right. So, right? So it's either you're you you're either melanated and contain gamma or you don't. And you're you're a cockroach person, you know what I mean, that comes from that lineage or whatever. So us being some of us being stuck in the middle, you know, we contain the majority of brown people contain melanin. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, you know, um 
I don't, I don't even know how to say it, say it, say it, so I'm not going to go there. But what I'm trying to say, bro, is that you got individuals saying that they want a just cause they're for the blacks and browns, and we're going to do this, and they're all on YouTube, and they're, they're right there feeding their ego with all these comments and shit. But really, behind the scenes, they ain't doing nothing. Right. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't having no events, bro. They ain't having no food cookouts. They're not supporting their communities in any shape, way, or form. Let's go out to the schools. Yeah. Let's go. Let me show you what I can do for your people. You show me what you can do for my people, and let's move. Let's move in progression. And, and, and I agree with you. And, I, and I'm gonna say something, you know, because I don't, I don't like putting this out there, mm -hmm. because I feel like the unsung heroes. That's what I call people mm -hmm. who do things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Right? I do a lot of things for the Hispanic community, mm -hmm. but I don't advertise it because it defeats the purpose of me. It's like me sitting up here saying, oh, look at me. No, yeah. I, I don't believe in that, yeah. right? Like, like my sister's been with me when I've been in the communities where I'm passing out suits, mm -hmm. I'm passing out clothes, mm -hmm. and I'm not disparaging that. What culture gets it is first come, first basis. Mm -hmm. uh, like, we pulled up before on, 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 on Latina, we, we just got out the pen. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I can't wear that. I can't wear this because it's not really because I guess she mm -hmm. played for another team. I don't yeah. know, but it gets them. Yeah. And she played for another team. Yeah. But nevertheless, her girlfriend, I guess that was her girlfriend. We gave her a bunch of feminine clothes, mm -hmm. you know, because they didn't have anything. And I gave a dude, you know, who said he was going on the interview. I gave him a suit, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, and, but I'm not pointing fingers at, oh, I did this for your culture because I don't really miss it. That's what I'm saying. Right, I, don't, right. I don't advertise it right, because right. it defeats the purpose of me giving back to the community because the community to me encompasses both black and brown. Right. right. So I don't go that route. But like I said, I, I do have my issues. Mm -hmm. And sitting down here with you today, man, it's like, boom, a start. Because if you and I can sit down here, old school that everybody seems to think that I'm bitter about prison and this stuff, I'm not bitter about prison. I'm not right. a convict. I don't live in that world anymore. Right. I live out here. I'm right. loving life. I don't bring that ideology out here. But when I'm confronted with it, I address it. Right, right. So I think I think we need to, we need to learn how to get back to the basics and learn to take constructive criticism. You know. I'm going to correct you, and I want you to correct me. If I ain't doing something that's up to par uh, of what you think that you're doing, hey, tell me, hey, you know what, homie, can, can you can you move a little bit? Can you do a little bit more? This is what I've done for the community, or this is what I'm doing to help. Can you match me? Right. And then if I ain't matching you, of course, then I, then I ain't, I ain't yeah. up for the cause. You're not see it. Right, right. So a lot of, you got a lot of YouTubers, like I said, you know, they're right here running their mouth about all these things that they're doing, but in the back, they're right here gossiping about the next man or the next race, we'll say. You know what I mean? And that's not cool. Yeah, because like like I said, you know, my boy, my boy, I got to shout my crazy man out because mm -hmm. he's crazy as I don't know what. Yeah, he's not as articulate as I am, but that doesn't take anything from him because he's very, very exceptionally intelligent. You right. have to be articulate to be intelligent. Right. He's extremely intelligent. And he made a statement today. He was like, you know, we may say Mexicans, mm -hmm. but for the majority of dudes in Southern California, because the rest of the nation don't know what the rest of California don't mean, is, it's not a referral to Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's a referral to what was deemed an adversary, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but I pull dudes up, like when they came on my show, say, Mexico, I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not going to say that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, like I said, I reiterate over and over, I have no, no beef like that. I don't really have no beef with nobody. You know, I just, my thing be just bringing awareness to what's going on. I'm in the most liberal state in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be no no tears per se actions on either one of our parts. Right. I mean gangs are gonna be gangs, you can't stop gangs. It's a criminal element, it's a lower income element, it's so on and so on. We've infiltrated anything that it is from music to industry to movies, whatever. But you said you said a key word right now, bro. You said a criminal element. Right. You know back in the seventies and the sixties, these weren't criminal scenes. No. You know, hell now we move for a cause. Yeah, we need to get back to that cause, that's yeah. what I'm saying. The eighties you know the eighties the eighties literally it's the introduction of crack, and now it's turned into meth. Yep. It's turned into a criminal structure. Yep. It's turned into a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get a job here. I keep back in the neighborhood and get back. Yep. So it is really, it really deflated a lot of dudes on being motivated to do something with their lives. Mm -hmm. You see, I look at it like this: you took a, a crack out of the neighborhood, mm -hmm. which is come on, we're gonna be historically speaking as far as a, a criminal work. Best tattoo artists have been historically speaking. Mm -hmm. Mexicans. Mm -hmm. Oh my, you know, you know, before all the crap started to put a teacher, everybody was looking at Mexican to hit him up. Mm -hmm. It was like shit, job out the hand. I mean, you know, for some 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 reason, I don't know why, but the creator gifted y'all in a large portion to the artists. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not taking that from my culture or any other culture, but I'm just speaking on, you know, from my experience in, in, in prison, you dudes were always able to get out 
Right. With the portraits and the drawings and what have not. So I see so if I can say this, you took something from the streets and from the multi generations of your neighborhood and turned it into a positive aspect. Right. right. So you 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 may have dropped one hustle. I don't know your past like that and in, 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 if I'm wrong correct me and picked up a legitimate hustle. That's yeah. You're right, bro. So I mean I think I think, you know, if we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty of things, I think that um we need a, we need we need more um more structure and with the structure I think we need just more leaders to come up and not just to say that I know but just to work together, you know what I mean? Like you know, you get a couple of reps from from different neighborhoods in the community, and because back in the days when, when in, in our neighborhood there was and there were enemy neighborhoods, you know, they would come down and there was a, a veteran from, from each neighborhood, and he would come and and they would come speak to us. There were like seven homeboys that were rivals, and we're looking at them like me mugging them and shit like that. But these guys were giving us wisdom at that time, and that wisdom I carried on today, and that's why I am the way I am today because of that those lessons I learned. So if we could get back to that. You know, and not look at, uh, uh, have the youngsters look at, at us with animosity, with animosity, and uh, you could you could give them some sort of structure. Hey, homie, you know what? This is what you should do. You know, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna strike up, strike up. If you're gonna if you're gonna write this on the wall, write this on the wall. And the same thing for our for our for our, our team, our gang. You know what I mean? Right. If you're gonna do this, this is how you do that. If you're gonna disrespect the person or a man, disrespect that man. You don't disrespect the whole people. You handle that shit like a man. You know what? I agree with you wholeheartedly, man. Like I said, you know, in this in this interview, I'm, you know, you know, you could apply this word. It goes a lot of different ways, but this is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. and this is what this, this word is starting. starting. This, yeah. this is pressing. This is where it starts. And yeah, yeah. This is this is where it starts because if I can sit down with a man who's third generation of representing what he represents, and everybody know I'm second generation. Yeah, my hood is multi generational. Right. You know, my neighborhood is over fifty years old. Right. You know, so there it is. Then you know, and we're not glorifying that lifestyle because it's a lifestyle in the state of California. But we're saying that if we can sit up here and sit as two men, two melanated men, and sit here and talk about this issue and not, you know, I'm better than you or you're this, you know, you're that, and we're talking like two human beings, which we are. Yeah. And, and he said the core thing that we would assign both of these colors, black and brown, from someone that's tied out of the middle of colors, you know, that should say a lot, man, you know, so, I'm going to cap this out, but I'm going to cap it out like this, man, I respect you, I appreciate you coming here, man, and in a nutshell, man, this is going to start, and anybody out there looking, man, you know, you can contact me, and I can get a couple of guys, like I said, from different sections, man, you know, to sit down with dudes and say, hey, man, you know, if you write this near that section, right? See, it doesn't matter that dude is out in the valley right now, really, or really pushing it on other dudes. That's when it matters, right? See, you may go to this is this would be my argument with that too. You may go to an area in the 818, right? Dress like you dress to see a girlfriend or right. a family member, right? You ain't got nothing to do with, but because you dress like you dress, some guys may push up and think you're part of that faction that is right now on the wall. Right. and get at you because of that right without even asking where you from mm -hmm. you know so that that too is a double-edged sword on that then with my culture you know what i'm saying it's the ones that are in close proximity of each other like in long beach that's crazy man i can't go up that street because these dudes are down there right you know so this is a start right here man you know i can get certain cats together to come to the table and uh this is start man it, like on that note, man, if there's anything you want to shout out, you shout out your channel. You know, yeah. People can check me out, man. Like, anything else you want to I wanna, shout out, bro. Yeah, I want to say one thing, bro. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. I appreciate you, bro. Um, I want to say that that individual, you know, that's pushing that pushing that issue and that's had a, has had a lot of issues, um, and I'm, I'll be sure I don't say his name, American Control, he don't speak for us. He don't speak for, for all of us as a, as a whole. He speaks for himself, point blank, period. Um, I don't even speak for my people, you know, but I'm right here representing something that I believe in with a brother right here, and I believe that we could, we could push a, a certain movement and create a certain agenda that we could both benefit from, because if you sit back and you look at it, black and brown gangs or whatever, we might be killing each other, but we're being killed by by another ethnicity that's at the, at, at that, that seems to be at the top of us, you know, pulling the strings to all these things that's going on to the drugs in our neighborhoods to the fentanyl in our neighborhoods 
to the guns that, that come from these European countries. This, this ain't shit that we make, you know. We're spending our money and, and everything on this, on these, on these, um, these brands like Prada and Gucci. Is it, are those our brands? They ain't nothing that we make. So start investing in your own communities. You know, start investing in your people, and let's let's push this movement, movement, and um, grow together. You know, as a as a as a fucking unit. Because uh, as a melanated unit, we hold the power. We hold the, the key. Our frequency is is higher than anybody else's. We, we dominate everything. Look at the, look at the shit. We dominate all fucking sports. We got the best fighters. Everything. And this ain't on no racial shit. This is facts. This is and, and biology facts. Uh, our blood, our blood contains more gamma. You know, everything about us is at a higher frequency. You know what I mean? So we need, we need to harvest that energy and 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 put it back into our people, so we could we could grow uh, uh, bigger and better fruit for for our young kids. That's that's all I'm saying, bro. You know, out on my channel is our marvelous minds. Um, I appreciate you and I, I respect you, homeboy, for having me, bro. Hey, I think it's no better. Thank you, no better. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to end this on this. The urban adult with neighborhood love. Two of them is cops in California. Y'all know what it is. Marvelous Minds. Check out his channel. And we got a marvelous mind because I respect everything he said.